Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a helicopter with scrap paper. It helps if you have a couple more things with you when you do this. For instance, a pair of scissors is very helpful and a paper clip. Not necessary, but very helpful. This, in case you're wondering about the size, is just a half a sheet of copy paper. So I just took a piece of copy paper and cut it in half. Um, I need a little less than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about, I don't know, what is that? Uh, a quarter or a third, something like that, off. And I'm not going to need to use that for this activity. I can put that away and use that for something else. Okay. You make three cuts in your piece of paper. The first one's going to be from the top, about mm, a third of the way down. So, and you're going to do it in the middle. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut about a third of the way down. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Under that cut, I want to leave about an inch or so. And I'm going to leave that area. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to make a cut from this side in and this side in. I don't want those cuts to join. This is about a third in and this is about a third in. And it's about an inch down from there. So what it looks like is this. A little cut there. And a little cut there. Now. You notice mine aren't perfect, they're not even level, they're, but they're close, and that's what you want is close. To construct your helicopter, now you're done with your scissors, construct your helicopter, fold this part into the center and crease. Fold the second part into the center and crease. This is a very forgiving pattern, you don't have to be perfect. You want to be pretty close, but you don't have to be perfect. If you have a paper clip, you'll clip it to the bottom. If you don't have a paper clip, you'll probably want to fold that up like that. Okay, but I do have a paper clip, so I'm going to just clip it to the bottom. I'm only leaving mine folded up because I have the crease line in there. All right. Now I'm able to now I'm ready to make my propellers. I'm going to take one of these and fold it towards me and crease. Then I'm going to turn it over. Take the other one and fold it towards me and crease so that when I'm done it looks like this and I bet you're beginning to see why that looks like a helicopter okay very easy to make and now I'm going to show you the proper way to drop your helicopter so that we're being consistent and scientific hi so I'm going to show you how to uh, launch a helicopter I made another one out of dark paper so you could see it better against the white background First thing, you're going to stand. I'm sitting. If I stand, my head is out of the shot. So I'm going to be sitting. Um, you're going to stand, and you're going to put your arm out at shoulder height. Not above, not below, just at your shoulder height. Your elbow is straight. It's not bent. It's straight. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is you're going to take your thumb and your finger, and you're going to pinch the rotor right in between the two, right? You're going to pinch your helicopter right there. I think you should be able to see that right there, okay? And when it's time to launch, you simply let go. You don't throw it down, you don't throw it up, you simply let go. So let me review that one more time. Arm is straight out, shoulder height, elbow straight, pinch between your two fingers. Okay, mine isn't straight because I'll be out of the shot. Pinch between two fingers and then simply release. Don't throw up, don't throw down, just release.